Good morning, little hoes. I'm Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. So, the other day I went and spent an exorbitant amount of money on some plants. And they're really cool. I don't regret it, but yeah, that goodbye paycheck, pretty much. Alrighty. So, first of all, I will show you the video. I did a little shopping trip to the plant farm yesterday. And I didn't get a whole lot of footage, but I got a little bit, so I'll put that in and then we will do the haul. Alrighty, so first bag of plants, and I, I only got three things total, and look, here's a plant farm, and these two items I noticed on their website, and the one thing I will say against the plant farm is they have different things on their website than they do on their Etsy account, and vice versa, so I saw one plant that I really liked on uh, their Etsy account, and then another two that I really liked on their website. And unfortunately, they didn't have it all listed on their website, so I couldn't just put the order together online and then pick it up in person. So I just decided to go there the other day and ask if they had it all available, and they did, which was probably a bad thing because, yeah, like I said, a lot of money. No regrets. So the first one is the string of turtles or the Peperomia prostrata. I don't know if any of this is in focus, but yeah, Peperomia prostrata. 
And this guy, did I just lose a branch? Ah! I just lost a tiny little branch. I will try and root this in a bit. Um, but this looks like something I will kill very easily. I'm hoping that's not the case, but you ever just look at plants and you know that you will kill it probably. I have a bad feeling about this. And I've heard different things regar regarding how to grow it. Um, I think a lot of people say they're great terrarium plants and need more humidity and possibly moisture. And I've also seen where they're quite succulent and require less. So I don't know. I'm going to give it the old college try and hopefully not kill it. But I don't know. Cross your fingers for me. Let's put this somewhere that's not going to be damaged by the cat. And this one, again, my god, I have bags under my eyes. All the better to put plants in those bags. Um, I was debating on this guy, but decided to just bite the bullet and get him. And this, you guys will probably recognize, it's the Monstera Carstenianum Peru. And... He's got some beautiful corrugated foliage. Can you all see? Ooh. And I bet you this is going to grow pretty nicely. It's already trailing quite a bit. I'm, I'm glad I got him. This is one I had. Do you have those plants that are just in the back of your mind and you can't quite get out of your head? And it's not necessarily a showstopper plant, but you just can't stop thinking about it. This is my back of the brain plant. But yeah, that's the Monstera Carstenianum Peru. And I know I keep saying I'm going to make some moss pulls one of these days and start staking my plants. But I think I might with this guy just to see how big I can get the foliage. My third and final plant which was very costly, I'm not gonna lie, but I love it and I'm not sorry I got it. It's a philodendron rugosum aberrant form. And I've seen this listed as several different things online. Um, I noticed it on an Etsy site and they called it a philodendron rugosum crinkle. I'm not sure which of these is correct, if it's all in reference to the same form or if it's something completely different, but I got the aberrant form from Plant Farm. Oops, clot of dirt on the floor. This is the rugosum. She's got some fungal issues that I did not notice. Hmm. Well, I didn't notice that yesterday, so I might have to quarantine this plant. And I was kind of in a rush when I was shopping. So you can see, got something funky going on. That's a little disappointing. So I think I'll be giving this some sulfur spray and uh, possibly quarantining this guy. Like I said, I did not notice it on the plant when I picked it up. But again, I was in a rush, so. Cool thing about this plant is when it's more mature, the lobes here will start to crinkle and curl and pucker a great deal. And you can kind of see it starting to pucker on this guy. Yeah, I'm happy I got one. I really wanted that one that I, the crinkle that I saw on Etsy, but um, they were from Texas and it was starting to get kind of cold out and then there was no heat packs offered on that site. So I decided not to risk it because it got cold here really fast. 
So yeah, that is my little mini haul, guys. I am going to go spray this guy down and hope like heck that it doesn't start spreading. It is a little bit disappointing that it had some fungal issues on it. But hopefully I can get this treated because I'm very excited about this guy. All right, well, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!